we would have had the patient in the, the wheelchair as we demonstrated all the four things, how to get up, the gait pattern, including going up and down the stair, or up the stairs, the turn at the top, coming back down and back into the chair. The turn at the top, remember, they're going to go back to their normal gait pattern that they would use on levels. And which way are they going to turn? Turn to the strong side. Okay. So let's say this patient is um, partial weight bearing on her right side. Okay, what gait pattern are we going to use? Three-point. Yep, the three-point, also called the protective extremity gait pattern. Okay, um, ma'am, do you have stairs at home? Yes. No? Good. Um, and on those stairs, do you have a rail? Yes. As you go up the stairs, which side is left. the on the left? Let's go over toward this side a little bit here. Okay, so partial weight bearing on this leg. Oops, we're gonna put your crutches forward. Your foot on the ground next to the crutches. Oh, and then put it forward. Yeah, and then step up to it. Beautiful. Now we don't have to, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't have to use that rail at first, but if we get two or three stairs up and then she starts having balance problems, I wanna be near the rail. Where do I need to be as she goes up the stairs? Lower. Lower than the patient and toward the involved side. Okay? So just like I demonstrated for you a minute ago, you're gonna get nice and close to the stairs. So go ahead and take one more step close to the stairs. Beautiful. And remember we have that saying, the good go to heaven, the bad go the other way. So your good foot will go up first. So we're gonna put your foot up, and then your weaker foot or your bad foot, and then your crutches together. Good. Okay? And again, good foot, bad foot. There. Make sure the patient is stopped as you change your feet. Okay. Um, good foot. Bad foot. Crutches. And again. Good foot. Bad foot. Crutches. Okay. Once she's here, I'm going to have her turn in a circle. You know, she has to do that half circle. But I want her to turn toward her strong side. So, patient, we're going to use your normal gait pattern. You're going to come out and around this way. Okay. So, kind of aim off this way a little bit. Use your crutches. Your right foot. Left foot. Let's go a little further out. Use my hover hand there to stop her. Okay, keep going just like that. Good. Now as she goes, I'm going to stay between her and the stairs. So I'm just working my way right around the gate. Belt. Okay, come a little bit closer. Okay. I still need to be lower than her and toward her involved side. So I'm going to be over toward this side now because this is her involved side. If she needs to take a little step out, she can do that so that my foot's not in the way of her crutches. Okay? And go ahead and bring your crutches down. And then your involved foot, remember your bag, go the other way. And you get a little close. So sorry about that. Stay right there for a minute while I switch my feet. Oops. Okay. Crutches, bad foot, good foot. If she were doing really, well, if she were having problems, how would I regress? One crutch at a time. One crutch at a time. So wait just a second. Okay, move down one crutch, and the other crutch. It doesn't matter which crutch goes first, either foot, either crutch, but it does matter which foot, the bad foot, and the big foot. Okay, left crutch. Okay. Just, just turn around for a second. Okay, if we were going up, and she was uh, having a hard time, and doing one crutch at a time didn't help, how else can we regress this patient? The rail. The rail. Come on over close to the rail. You're going to put this crutch over on this side so you can shift your hip right against that rail while you do this. Okay. If you can do that, that's great. That's kind of hard to hold. So we're going to put that one in place. And this one, we're just going to kind of find a balance point. You can come on up, it's okay. okay. And you're going to hold that one in your fingers, just like that. Okay. Now I'm kind of in the way of this, but we'll make it work. Okay. So go ahead and stand on your both feet again. Okay, walk up a little bit closer. I'm actually going to switch a little bit here. I'm going to go on the outside of this crutch. I feel like I have better control over it. Okay, um, and what goes up first? The, the good foot. So your strong foot, your weak foot, and then the both hands. Okay? So your hands should be fairly even as you go up. Okay? So strong foot, weak foot, hands. Okay. Right. Now, let's go back to using both crutches at the same time here. So go ahead and pretend you don't have that problem anymore. Let's step sure. back down one, just kind of step down so we have okay. If the patient were doing really well with the normal gait pattern, so I'm going to let go of you for a second. So she did strong foot, weak foot, crutches, and she was doing really well. How can we progress the patient? She had crutches and involved 
about the um, she has partial weight bearing here. It's still fairly limited. Maybe a toe cut weight bearing, something like that. So she still needs both crutches. Strong, strong foot with crutches. Okay, so strong foot up. And then you're going to move your weak foot with the crutches at the same time. That's good. Strong foot. Okay, so see how you can do those progressions? Okay. Um, and that's it for that patient. So just carefully walk back down the stairs here. As I'm going down backward, by the way, did you notice that what I do is I kind of feel to see if I'm at that bottom step yet? Okay, so, oh, now I know I'm at the bottom. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard as you're walking down not to keep looking behind you. Okay? All right.